Hello my friends, welcome to the Commander's Crypt, coming to you from New Orleans, Louisiana. We've got another deck tech for you today. Uh, if you saw my Buckle Up Precon review, you'll know that I was very high on this deck. I really, really liked it. Right out the box, you could see that it had a lot of potential to be a very strong commander because of the combo potential of Shurikai, the Genesis engine. So what I figured I'd do today is go over advanced combos today and uh, talk about putting more combos into that deck. But uh, while we're talking about it, would you please uh, like and subscribe? We're a new channel and we've got a lot of exciting things coming up in the future. Uh, me and my uh, fellow warlocks are uh, there at the crypt. Uh, working on some contests and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, neat things in the future and we're trying to grow a community and we'd like to, uh, for you to join us. Uh, we are huge Magic the Gathering fans and uh, very big Commander fans so if you would like and subscribe we really appreciate that. We like I said, are going to be having a lot of exciting things in the future as far as contests. So, thanks again. So, uh, without further ado, we'll get into the video. So, as you can see, I've got the Kappa Cannoneer locked and loaded here first, ready to go. What I wanted to do was talk about him today. In my last video, I said that he was about $15, but he is quickly uh, gaining in price. So it might behoove, behoove you to uh, grab some of these before they go crazy. Um, these, these cards, last I checked, were $18 to $20, and that was only after a few days. Uh, they were $15, so uh, I'd grab some. If you, if you had a chance, uh, besides being an avid Commander fan, I'm, a, I'm actually kind of an investor too. I like to buy cards that I think are going to be uh, going up in price in the future, and this is one of them. So uh, I wanted to talk about this card. And it actually really works toward the combos too. It's a soft combo. It's not one of the big uh, game-busting combos, but... When you do go off with Shurikai and you're drawing cards and, and playing artifacts, you could also uh, make this guy big while you're doing your Shurikai combos because the Kappa Cannoneer, it has Improvise. Your artifacts can help you cast the spell. And uh, each artifact you tap after you've done activating amount of abilities pay for one. But it also had Ward 4, which means it's hard to kill. Uh, they, uh, your opponent has to pay four more mana to uh, power up any spell that he's using to try to uh, kill this guy. But then also when you read the last sentence there, it says whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Kappa Cannoneer and it can't be blocked this turn. So Kappa Cannoneer, besides being uh, highly sought after in uh, type one decks, it also can work in your combo deck with Shurikai. If you're able to create a bunch of Thopters, uh, this guy gets a plus one, plus one each time one enters the battlefield, and then he's unblockable. So you could Alpha Strike with this guy and uh, take out an opponent during that turn. Very, very good card. Uh, if, if you could, I'd, I'd get your hands on it before it gets uh, too out of out of your price range. The uh, next card that um, I changed out from the budget pre-con video that I did is Bronze Guardian. Um, this guy's a beast. For one white, four colorless, he also has ward. Ward two, but he has double strike. And other artifacts you control have Ward 2. Bronze Guardian's par power is equal to the number of artifacts you control. So this guy is a beast. He's not very expensive. I'd get my hands on these if you could as well. And he has Ward 2. Double Strike means that he has first strike whenever he attacks. So if you've got 
six or seven or eight artifacts out there and you will this guy comes out and he does eight damage uh, to anybody blocking him right off the bat and then uh, it goes into the double strike uh, situation but um, this, you know, I, I wanted to show you some uh, more advanced uh, swap outs that we're going to do in uh, this video. In the last video, I said, you know, we were kind of aiming around 10 cards and, you know, had a budget and, you know, talked about new people getting into the game. Uh, but this is a more, a more advanced play. What you do is you... Um, uh, put, uh, take out Futurist Sentinel and you put in Bronze Guardian and um, this guy is an absolute beast and it helps protect your artifacts. If you've got Kappa Cannoneer out there and Bronze Guardian it's it takes uh, six extra mana to power up a spell to take Kappa Cannoneer out so just keep that in mind. The next combo card that I wanted to talk to you about today is Thran Temporal Gateway. I don't think pe uh, enough people are playing with this card. In my Eldrazi deck, it's basically a portal deck. I have a Thran Temporal Gateway, I have a Quicksilver Amulet, I have a Belby's Portal, I have a Temporal Aperture. I have a Phyrexian portal, all the portals, uh, people aren't playing them enough. This is a very fantastic card. Um, you know, I, I have a bunch of them. I know other channels are high on the Vidalcan Orrery, uh, but when you think about it, this might be better than Vidalcan Orrery because not only does it give your historical permanent cards flash, but it cheats them in for cheaper you know when we're talking about um, historics we're talking about artifacts legendaries and sagas so if you don't want your you know creature to be exposed the whole turn you wait to flash this in or if somebody attacks and you flash a blight steel colossus or something to block it with that's what this works with any kind of legendary creature any kind of artifact Even Planeswalkers, you can flash them in at the end of the preceding player's turn and, um, you know, they're not exposed as much, plus it allows you to cheat things in. There's nothing more satisfying than Thran, Thran gatewaying a Blightsteel Colossus or something like that, you know, way or, or an Eldrazi long before you would have ever been able to cast it. So, what I did was... Um, on the combo tip for this video, I uh, took out the Raf Capuchin uh, Captain that gives everything flash, uh, all your historics flash. That card came in the deck. I replaced that with this. These are not that expensive, and it's you know what's what's better than being able to flash historics in. Uh, being able to flash them in for only four mana. So I replaced Wrath Capuchin with the Thran Temporal Gateway. And there he is, Blightsteel Colossus. With uh, the Temporal Gateway, you can flash in Blightsteel Colossus, or even if you have an old, uh, you know, Darksteel Colossus, which I do. Um, you know, before Blightsteel Colossus, Darksteel Colossus was the man. Um, he was in all the decks, the Oath of Druid decks, and after Blightsteel uh, hit the scene, uh, Darksteel Colossus kind of uh, went by the wayside, but I still play him. I love him. But um, with Blightsteel Colossus and Thran Temporal Gateway, we can, uh, that's a good combo that can win you the game very quick. And again, I replaced uh, Prodigy's Prototype with Colossus. Um, this came in the Buckle Up Precon. I mean, it's an okay card, but, um, you know, by getting rid of Prodigy's prototype, we're able to uh, bring in an all-star like uh, Bl Blightsteel Colossus. Now, if Blightsteel, I mean, Blightsteels are starting to get up there in price, too. So, if you're unable to uh, get your hands on them, then we totally understand. But then the... Thran Temporal Gateway 
will allow you to bring Parhelion 2, which came in the deck, you know, in four turns earlier than it would have if you would have had to cast him. And this card is a beast. If you can't afford Blightsteel Colossus, uh, then, uh, you know, it, like I said, this comes in the deck, but also uh, these might be good cards to pick up too. They're very cheap, but this guy is an absolute beast. Uh, Parhelion 2, two white, six colors, flying first, strike vigilance. I didn't, I didn't realize how awesome this card was until I played with it. Uh, it has flying first, strike vigilance. Whenever Parhelion a, a 2 attacks, create two, four white, white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance that are attacking. So uh, if you're able to flash this guy in uh, with your Thran Temporal Gateway, uh, you are going to be doing 13 points of damage to somebody, um, you know, fifth turn or less. And those angels don't go away. Y you are now... Uh, creating all kinds of uh, extra creatures that have vigilance uh, that can block and crew your vehicles. So, Thran Temporal Gateway, I would uh, replace Raf Capuchin with the Thran Temporal Gateway. Much, much better uh, card situation you got going on over there. And the Temporal Gateways are not that expensive. Um... <clears throat> Shurikai, Genesis Engine, he is the man. I absolutely love this card. I was really surprised that uh, Wizards of the Coast put this guy out. This this guy is just, just so awesome. It's just got so much combo potential uh, right off the bat. So we'll talk about him again. For one colorless, and you tap the, um, the artifact, draw two cards, then discard a card. Create a 1-1 one, one colorless pilot creature token with this creature cruise vehicles as though its power were 2 or greater. It has crew 8. It is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, we like to call that the 8 ball. And um, Shurikai Genesis Engine can be your commander. So um, first time a uh, vehicle has become been able to be a commander and uh, I'm really glad of that. Um, with the Shurikai Genesis Engine and the Intruder Alarm, we are able to do all kinds of interesting things. Um, you know, we we can during someone else's turn crew up Shurikai, and if those creatures, if you've got mana dorks in there, such as the Palladium Mirror, the Gold Mirror, the Silver Mirror. You can, um, every time you create a pilot, which is part of Shurikai's ability, Intruder Alarm untaps all your mana dorks, and then you can do it again. And if Shurikai is uh, equipped, then he's an artifact creature as well. And he untaps, and you just keep drawing cards, drawing two cards, discarding a card, and uh, making uh, uh, pilot chicks and draw draw on your whole deck and there's going to be some loops that we're going to show you that you can do with this combination of cards Trude alarm says creatures don't untap during their controllers untap steps whenever a creature comes into play untap all creatures so there you have it with shurikai and intruder alarm uh, you are able to uh, with palladium mirror and gold and silver mirror and uh, another card we'll show you here in a second. You can uh, create mana and then they untap and then you can do it again. And the one of the combos that we can do with this, these two cards is the old Laboratory Maniac kill where we uh, draw our whole deck, you know, and draw into Laboratory Maniac if it's your turn, play them and then keep drawing. And then uh, when there are no more cards to draw, you win the game. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. So that is one of the awesome combos that you can do with this deck. And uh, we're gonna talk about some other things you can do. So now, Besides uh, winning by drawing your whole deck, we're going to talk about loops. 
what with Shurikai Genesis Engine Intruder Alarm and another card I'm about to show you, you can just keep looping uh, the card draw until you use your mana dorks to store up, you know, tens of thousands of uh, mana in your mana pool, and then there's things that you can do, which we will show you. And Vidalkin Engineer is uh, one of those mana dorks that you'll need for the Shurikai Intruder Alarm. With this guy, he says, add two mana of any one color, spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. So, um, yeah, so you can only cast artifacts with this, but we're going to show you what you're going to be casting here. So, there is the loop enabler, Kozilek Butcher of Truth. With this card in your deck, what you will do is you will um, draw, you know, if, if, if you're, if you're not going for the Laboratory Maniac kill, you can use the Kozlek Butcher of Truth to loop your graveyard. Last sentence says, when Kozlek is put into a graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. So with Shurikai's discard ability, you can toss this. It immediately uh, recycles your graveyard into your deck and you can just keep going using your mana dorks like Vidalkin Engineer to continuously keep building up mana so then you can do the walking ballista after you've stored up enough mana in your mana pool with Vidalkin Engineer you can then cast walking ballista for however many thousands you want to put in your pool you cast this it says xx walking ballista walking ballista enters the battlefield with x plus one plus one counters on it for colon put a plus one plus one counter on walking ballista and it says remove a plus one plus one counter from the ballista it deals one damage to target creature or player so that's another possible combo that you can do in this deck. You just keep looping your deck with your Butcher of Kozilek and uh, pump up a huge walking ballista and then just have it start raining death and destruction on all your opponents with all of those plus one, plus one counters that are going to turn into ballistas. So very, very good card. Now... In my other deck tech, I kind of mentioned this card and I said it was one of my favorite cards in Commander. Well, you're about to get another really good reason as to why it's one of my favorite cards in Commander. So, besides being a powerhouse, when the game first starts, you know, second turn you play this and it's going to go around the table and come back to you and it's going to be locked and loaded and ready to pump out angels. And those angels add up quick. If, if, if people don't have a way to answer this enchantment and we know that enchantments are probably the hardest thing to kill on the board if they don't answer this you're going to be putting out one angel on the third turn fourth turn two angels per turn and then there's soon three angels per turn you're going to have blockers attackers and everybody's going to have big problems uh, with you Another reason why this is one of my favorite cards is it's not only good early game, but it's also good late game. So let's say you draw it late game and you're playing a grindy game and if somebody board wipes or if you board wipe and this deck has uh, some board wipes, you then lay this down and it's probably going to be a turn until anybody gets any uh, creatures out to be able to hit you. So what happens is this uh, comes around it gets the counters on it and you're able to start pumping out angels again it's a very fantastic play when someone wipes the board when you draw this in your hand just hold it and just wait you know bide your time until someone drops that boardwalk and then drop this and you're going to be uh, way ahead of the rest of the table luminarch ascension says at the beginning of each opponent's end step if you didn't lose life this turn you may put a quest counter on luminarch ascension um, and uh, the next uh, sentence says, one white, one colorless colon. Put a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Activate this ability only if Luminarch Ascension has four or more quest counters on it. So early game, this card is good. Late game, 
game this card is good but also this card in this deck does something amazing which i will show you with silver mirror and the intruder alarm you can um do the same thing you can do infinite angels basically same thing when a um angel comes out intruder alarm activates your silver mirror and your gold mirror and maybe your palladium mirror or whatever mana dorks you have untap you make another angel your mana dorks untap you make another angel your mana dorks untap you see where this is going so I mentioned this card earlier, Luminarch Ascension. I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite cards. It is one of the strongest cards in Commander. Um, and like I said, if my deck has white in it, it has Luminarch Ascension in it. So with Tr Intruder Alarm, there is another combo that you can do with this card. And it is awesome. So I wanted to talk about one more combo that you could do in this deck. Now, everybody plays with Lightning Greaves because it's just an amazing card. It is another commander staple, obviously. Uh, if, you know, if you have a commander deck, you probably got this card in it. And it helps protect your commander, gives your creature haste and shroud. It's really, really awesome. So you're probably going to put this card in this deck. So, you know, since this is an artifact deck and you've already got Lightning Greaves in there, why not put crack down construct in there crack down construct construct says whenever you activate an ability of an artifact or creature that isn't a mana ability crack down construct gets plus one plus one until end of turn well guess what wizards of the coast is learning that whenever they put a zero on a card it it, it usually uh, leads to busted things um, and here we have no exemption. We have equip zero. Equip creature has haste and shroud. Equip zero costs nothing to equip this thing. So, and it is not a mana ability. So what happens is, um, and like I told you, we're going to have all kinds of tutors in this deck. So, and tutors are cheap. The uh, the blue tutors uh, are cheap. Fabricates very cheap, and um, the Neon Dynasty just came out with a new, another tutor, Anchor to Reality, that's cheap for four mana. You can sacrifice something, an artifact or a creature, and go get an artifact. So what I'm getting at is um, this is another cheap combo that you can do in this deck. You can move the Lightning Greaves back and forth from Crackdown Construct to something else. You know, so play. You know, play the crackdown construct. Move your greaves from a, a thopter or whatever you've got going on. You know, back and forth between the two, and crackdown construct gets a plus one plus one until end of turn for each time you do it. Then you leave the greaves on it. He's got haste. He came out of nowhere, and now you've got a 50-50 um, artifact uh, smashing into somebody. So another really awesome, cheap, good. Um, combo that you can do and another awesome card uh, that I put in this deck that came that just came in the last set is mech titan core this guy is fun for two mana you put him out there for five mana you can create a mech titan which is a legendary 1010 construct artifact creature token with flying vigilance trample lifelink and haste that's all colors when that token leaves the battlefield, return all cards exiled with the Mech Titan Core, except Mech Titan Core, to the battlefield tapped under their owner's control. This is kind of a, a softer combo. You uh, you know you put this guy out, and um, bang, you've got Voltron out there, a 10-10 uh, guy that can block and give you life. So um, this is another one of my uh, favorite cards. I'm actually going to try to get my hands on a foil token before those go up 
in uh, value and um, you know another thing too once you you know get your uh, mech titan out there you, you can greaves him up and um, he's going to be very hard to deal with and um, that's pretty much it that we have for today that's uh, there's another really good card by the way cyber drive awakener so I hope you enjoyed this video we really enjoy making them we really love commander um, those are the more advanced combos that you can do with this deck you know besides the coat of arms uh, combo that we talked about in our last video so we're going to uh, sign off with that we hope you enjoyed this and uh, be on the lookout here in the next day or two for our next video we're going to uh, show a Saturo Umazawa build that uh, I think that you will really like. So, like I said, if you would please like and subscribe. We have uh, got some a bunch of exciting things in the future. We're going to have contests. We're going to give away boxes. Going to give away cards. Going to give away decks. Eventually, uh, going to give away trips to New Orleans to do the Ghost and Vampire tours and alligator tours uh, you know if you know if you're 18 or older obviously of course so have a wonderful day thank you for watching our video and we hope to see you again soon on the next one